Hi, how are you? I intend for this spread, for this read, for this reading to be about what you need to work on for the Lionsgate portal. Let's see what the cards have for you. See beyond the current situation. See her. Something really cool about being able to see beyond the current situation is you're going to be able to get through a lot of the fake stuff. I said it. Fake. Okay. Oh, gotta get it. Fake stuff. A lot of the stuff that we go through as we like live our lives is going to be stuff that is like... It seems like it's really awesome for us, but it's not so fun once you realize that it's more like it's kind of giving you a little not enough, and it's also just not giving you the authentic truth of the reality of your life. Um, we also have Unlock the Magic Within, Retreat and Recharge, Shift Your Perception. So when you are able to... When you're able to give yourself time to heal, you're able to give yourself time to see differently. When you're able to give yourself time to see differently, you're going to see that there are places where you have been wrong. You have assumed wrong. You have expected differently. Now there's the unlock the magic within which gives me significance that this is about this is like this is about like very 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 personal individual stuff so you know if you're in a situation where there seems to be a lot of untruthful things being said untruthful things being done really making it hard for you to see the truth for yourself find a way if you're able to find a way to come back to yourself by being able to ground yourself by being able to become more mindful and when you become more mindful you are able to see beyond the current situation. You're able to see what is the truth for you and what isn't. And with the unlock the magic within, when you're shifting your perception, you're going to realize a whole different ideology of your magic. You're going to be able to understand it even differently. When you unlock the magic within, you're honestly just like unlocking very, very individual parts of you, which probably have been tampered because let's face it, it's very hard to be an individual these days. It's very hard to feel comfortable doing something entirely different than anyone else. And especially if you have magic within you, it's a little bit on the side of the unknown and something that's very common for human beings in the unknown is to be a little bit timid but you know being able to see where you really are at and being able to just kind of like sit down with yourself you know you don't you don't have to do what what doesn't feel right for you do what feels like not just right but what feels like there's no resistance doing whatever if you like to meditate do that if you like to journal do that if you like to yoga do that if you like to work out do that um if you like to game do that find a way where you can let yourself start start wondering uh I don't know how to spell it. Wondering, not wandering. Wondering. W-O-N-D-E-R. There we go. The wander is W-A-N-D-E-R. And it's just like a difference between O and A. And I'm just like, 
I, my, my accent doesn't allow me that way. No, I'm just kidding. But when you're able to allow yourself to wonder, you're going to be, you're like going to allow yourself to focus on things that are not about worrying. That's not about, I don't know, if you're trying to put yourself into a box. I totally get that. I have gone above and beyond trying to understand how I can get out of the box that I've been presented into. It's the whole beautiful experience of becoming independence, becoming our individual selves that we find the most the most treasure, the most presence because we are ultimately in the most present form that we can be in, which is like our individual selves in the current reality. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Let me see if there's any other messages for you. Um, let me use, I have so many decks and I am obsessed. I need all, no, just kidding. But let me see a bit more if you have any other, any defining cards. All right, we got one, the three of swords, right. Okay, so... With the Three of Swords, it's a card about backstabbing. It's a card about people putting you in front of them so that you get the kind of like hurt instead of them. You get the consequences of their actions. Um, here, I'll show you the card. That's it. So... I, I I mean I've been I've been there. Oh my gosh. I have. I've I have and it's taken me a very long time, but what I've noticed and I relate to this so much, but what I've noticed is that it does become a lot easier to see where I need to go. And this is like something. So this, okay, so this if you have felt this way, what I'm about to describe um, it's a really great strength to have, but when I like, when I was going through understanding, okay, understanding how can I find the good in situations where people would rather have harm be done to me than to them, even though it's their stuff even though it's their responsibilities to take and they don't take it and they actually put it on me, it feels like a heartbreak. It feels like I, like I trusted someone and in the end I ended up getting hurt, which is not what I expected, which is not what I wanted. But, you know, along my journey, I've, I've, I've realized that with the Three of Swords, with these instances where you are getting stabbed in the back from the intent of another, there is beauty within that. And the beauty is that you have the capability to save yourself from future instances like those by fully accepting who you are. Ooh, ooh, fully accepting who you are. Mm. You know, and I will have to say, okay, in these instances when I have been through this, I got mean. I got mean. I got angry. I was pissed. I was like, I don't deserve this. Why do I deserve this? I don't deserve this. So, you know, I, I didn't want ultimately, I didn't want to just like live with this feeling of feeling this like backstabbing effect. I don't know how to describe it except backstabbing because man, it just felt like it so many times. <laughs> Not the action, like the physical action, but it's, it's the it's the wounds that oh no you probably I hope that okay it's the wounds that are created from people that I like I really cared for people that I put my trust into 
So the strength that can come from this, <laughs> there's strength that can come from this, but the strength that can come from this is opening up yourself to being vulnerable about what happened. So we have, these are the cards that pops up. Boo boo. All right, so we have the sun. We have the three of pentacles. Here it is. And then we have, ah, so many cards. We have the tower. So this could be a really defining moment for you. I hope that I can give you some good insight to get past this feeling of not so funness into a more enlightened sort of feeling where you're like, oh, you're enlightened because maybe the information about learning how you can fully accept yourself, learning how you can be vulnerable with yourself can help heal those wounds that were created from others. Those wounds that really weren't intended for you, but they were really intended for the other person. So something else that comes to mind, okay? And this is more so... Um, this is more so if I was to tell my inner child, my younger self, really, if I could tell my younger self one thing about having to deal with people who backstab me, it would be that those people are just trying to hurt me because they are hurting themselves. They are hurting on the inside and they want to be able to not hurt anymore, and they think that the best way to go about it is to make it another person's problems. And that is a really tough situation to be in, but it's like the universe is giving you this beautiful way of finding love through a, a very, very hard time especially my can one of the candles is going out let's get another one in here come on now let's get some there we go it's kind of a really strong candle i don't want to get it too close because of the cards and like oh my gosh that would be chaos but really 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 ultimately if you are in this you know since the lion's gate portal is opening up and there's we're going through a lot of these like oh my gosh we're going through a lot of realizations with ourselves with the people we're with with our relationships um you know we're defining more we're finding out more but you know when you find out certain things, you will come to realize that it wasn't what you assumed it was. And when you're able to kind of like be okay with the past, you're able to move forward in the future with a more healed body, mind, and soul. You're able to... See, we have the Six of Wands. Oh, you, I don't know if you can see it, but the Six of Wands. Um, you're able to really move forward in a way. There is another one. There is another one. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, and the Empress. So, the Empress, Divine Feminine Energy. I've been working on that also. Yay, high five. Um, and then we have temperance. Yep, the balance card. Well, I mean, I do my toes balance in this equation because when you're able, when you're able to truly, truly love yourself, when you're able to find the strength to heal, you're able to allow yourself to move forward in, like I said, a stronger body, a stronger mind, a stronger soul. And at the same time, you'll be creating from a foundation that's very, very strong. So you could create endless amounts of buildings, of structure, whatever you want to create. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, I hope that this uh, has helped you. It's yeah, I hope it's this this has helped you. Um, thank you so much for watching this. 
Uh, until next time, rest and re re blah, blah. Until next time, rest and rehabilitate yourself, my friend. Really, I need to do that too. Hmm. About to meditate myself. All right. Bye, everyone. Peace. We got some love. We got some acceptance. Bye, everyone.